What is up everybody? I'm Houston and a buddy of mine gave me this motor. It will not start at all. It has spark. It has good compression. It's got to be something with the carburetor. So I'm going to take it apart, take the old carb off. I bought a new carburetor off of eBay from China for 30 bucks, including shipping from China. We'll see how it runs. Let's get this cowl off and see what we got underneath. Gas tank held on with zip ties. Had the cowl off once before. Check the spark, it's good. Did a compression test on the single cylinder. Everything looks good there. Here is the carb. To take this guy off, there are two 10 millimeter bolts. This one, you see that relative to the front of the carb. Nut number one. And then on the bottom right, there is, so take both of those guys off and it'll pull right off. Don't mess with this bolt. And there's another one down on the bottom left. Don't worry about those guys. Also, this linkage is in the way. This is the safety linkage. When you go into forward or reverse, it prevents you from pulling the pull start. It locks it so you don't start the motor and drive. So we're gonna take that loose. We're gonna take the fuel line off. I've already loosened it, but we're gonna take the fuel line into the carb off. There's just a little hose barb fitting that I just loosened. That's gonna slide right off. Throttle cable, loosen that screw. Throttle cable comes off. We'll pull this guy completely out to get him out of the way. Once we do that, take the two nuts off. This is gonna slide right out. There's a gasket behind there, so be careful. And then we can take this guy apart and see what's going on, see why this motor won't start. I am 99% confident something's going on in here because we got good spark, we got good compression. So let's get the cable off, throttle cable off, fuel line off, nut one, nut two, should slide right off. All right, first, safety linkage. We'll get this guy out of the way. Eight millimeter wrench. Just gonna loosen one side, that should slide right out. Then there's a tiny pin right there. Comes up, slides right out. Now that's out of the way. Now gas line, barb fitting, just loosen the barb fitting, which I've already done. Keep the barb fitting on the gas line so you don't lose it. Gas line's gonna pop right off. Ideally, you've got the tank drained. If not, you gotta be quick. Get the gas line up above the gas level so it doesn't drain out. Usually tuck it in right there. For the throttle cable, loosen that screw, which I just done. Throttle cable will slide right out here. Just like that. Pull that out, tuck it out of the way. All right, so now take those two 10 millimeter nuts off. It's gonna slide right off. Let's do that. That guy's really hard to get to. If you guys have any hints or tricks, please share. Nut number one's off. Now I gotta get that guy off. And I can barely get in there. This time I'm going to try the box in, see if I can get back in there and just get a little bit of a bite. I got to turn a little bit. I don't even think uh, extension is going to help you because you got all this stuff in the way. All I can say is do the best you can. What you got? That guy 
was no joke. Now that guy should come right off and have a gasket right on the back. There's a bolt that's sticking out. You just got to get it around. Look at that. Perfect. There's the gasket. See what it looks like. The carburetor I bought, I thought was going to come with the gasket kit, but it didn't. So we're going to have to reuse this just to test it out and then I'll replace it at some point. Here is the carb, choke plate, carb bowl, drain screw, there's the main jet sticking up, right in there, it's throttle valve, the idle speed screw or screw air mixture screw for low speed, pretty sure that's the idle jet there. All right, let's get it apart. First thing I'm gonna do is take this bowl off. These four screws here, bowl should come right off. So let's do that. And there's gonna be gas in here. The best thing to do is take that drain plug out. I'm actually gonna do that first. And then gas is gonna come out. All right, here's the drain screw. Now I'm gonna take the bowl off. you go here's the float the bowl fills up with gas the float goes up closes the needle valve in there when the float goes up needle valve closes prevents more gas from coming in the gas goes is used out of the bowl the float goes down and allows more gas in from the tank here's the gasket float looks pretty good here is the jet port take that off and see what we got going on in there wow that is horrible no wonder it didn't start I'll try to show you guys what we got somebody stripped that jet completely out Look in there. That is not supposed to look like that. There you go. Look in there. Look at that. It looks like somebody stripped it. That's brass, so I think it's really soft. And what you do is you unscrew. The jet is inside that port, and you unscrew it. It's threaded. And sometimes it'll strip on you, and it looks like they just kept going at it and actually took a drill um, and tried to drill a hole to get it out after they strip that head off there's a good shot look at that there is no way that this car can be salvaged with that this is trash but what happens is this is sticking down in the bowl it's full of gas when the piston strokes in the cylinder it pulls air through the throttle bo um, throttle bore and then air is basically sucked up it creates low pressure in this th there's a jet in there and uh it's called the venturi effect and then it vaporizes the gas and the throttle bore sucks it into the cylinder and then that's where you get your compression and then ignition uh, from the spark plug that's the problem right there absolutely okay let's get the new one on here's the new carb it looks exactly the same honestly i was expecting lower quality than this there's not any machining burrs anywhere everything's pretty smooth casting looks pretty good there's some imperfections here it's not going to matter but usually when you start seeing chips and voids in the casting of the metal and the machining of the metal that usually signals low quality but honestly everything looks pretty decent um i'm hoping this was an original that they stuck away somewhere it's all aluminum so it's not going to matter but um it's pretty funny this is standard i don't know if you say that standard of japan but then it says made in china i'm hoping for some reason this was actually made in japan and not china or at least use japan spec and standards manufacturing standards 
but we will see in about 30 minutes if it starts with this $30 carb shipped from China for free, basically 30 bucks with shipping off of eBay. There's no telling how old this guy is. Okay, let's put it on. Same exact procedure, I'm just in reverse. Two nuts, um, we'll hook up the throttle cable, fuel line, rehook up that safety cable, and that is it. Everything is finally back together. I'm gonna take it out, fill up a barrel of water, see if she will start. So that's it, the $30 carburetor from China. It worked pretty good. Man, I'm telling you, that motor would not start. I don't think the cylinder was getting any gas with that old carb with it all stripped out, with that main jet being stripped out like it was. But um, 30 bucks, started up, idled really well. Didn't have to do any changes to the factory setting for the speed, the idle speed screw. Overall, very pleased to get it out on the water. Hope you guys have a good one. Thank you.